Understanding, begrudging someone, a deep dive. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we make English language learning fun and easy for you. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase, begrudging someone. It's a phrase you might come across in books, movies, or even in everyday conversations. If you've ever wondered what it means and how you can use it, you're in the right place. Let's get started. When we talk about begrudging someone, we're referring to the feeling of resentment or envy towards someone else's success, achievements, or possessions. It's not just about being envious. It's about somewhat reluctantly or unwillingly admiring someone else's success while wishing it were yours. This feeling can be subtle, mixed with admiration, or it can be more intense, leaning towards jealousy. To better understand how begrudging someone is used, let's look at a few examples. 1. I can't help but begrudge him for getting that promotion over me, even though he worked hard for it. Here. The speaker is acknowledging the effort put in by the other person but still feels a sense of resentment. 2. She begrudged her colleague's natural talent in design, wishing she could be as creative. In this case, the begrudging is about envying someone's innate abilities. These examples show that begrudging someone often involves a complex mix of feelings, including admiration, envy, and resentment. Feeling begrudging is human, but it's important to manage these feelings constructively. Here are a few tips. 1. Focus on your own journey and progress. Recognize that everyone's path is different, and comparing yourself to others only steals your joy. 2. Express gratitude for what you have. Practicing gratitude can shift your focus from what you lack to what you have, reducing feelings of envy. 3. Celebrate others' successes. Actively celebrating the achievements of others can help mitigate feelings of begrudging and foster a more positive mindset. Understanding and using the phrase, begrudging someone, correctly can add depth to your English communication, allowing you to express complex emotions and thoughts. Remember, it's natural to feel this way at times, but how we handle these feelings defines our growth and happiness. We hope this video has shed light on the nuances of this phrase and helps you navigate your feelings and conversations more effectively. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful English language content. See you in the next video.